Now then, this is what you call a moth. This beauty is a poplar hawk moth. This is a female freshly emerged on the trunk of this tree. These are one of our largest hawk moths and one of a couple of species that rest in this sort of wing position. The hind wings unusually are protruded here, look, above the fore wings which are here. The moth is generally this bluish slate grey, beautifully shaded, it's almost like pastel shades and then delicately marked by these brown areas here. And then you've got the two little white flecks. It's a cracking thing. Now the four wings are covering over the most distinctive mark on poplar hawk moss and that's a red area, a large red patch on this hind wing. It's a beautiful species. Common, easily attracted to mercury vapour light and in any habitat from woodland to open farmland and right through to parks and gardens. If you attract moss in your garden, you'll get one or two of these every year. And the larvae are easy enough to find on sallow bushes, often isolated sallow bushes and not necessarily the larger ones either, so often pays to look at smaller sallow bushes where the larva conspicuously helps to strip the sallow bush of most of its leaves. Beautiful things these. Very easy to breed as well. The adults don't feed and these can be bred quite easily. Just pair, put a pair in a simple netted cage. Even a shoebox apparently is good enough and nature will take its course. Beautiful. Cracking thing, isn't it? Hawk moths take some beating, and purely on size, but in terms of coloration as well, the two elephant hawk moths were large elephant hawk moth and small elephant hawk moths are the prize I suppose really amongst hawk moths. Not including oleander hawk moth but of our native hawk moths the barbie pink of elephant and small elephant hawk moths are absolutely glorious. These are much more subtly marked. It's nice to see one Actually, it's not very often you'll see these, but you can see them post-emergence from the pupa, often low on the trunks of poplar trees, or sometimes found at rest during the day on fences. They are conspicuous things. And thankfully, too large for bats to even consider handling. <laughs> 